no. Oh, there's no way. We couldn't have forgotten. We must be out. Hey, is anybody out there? Can you help me out in here? Can anybody spare a square? Good evening, fans of history. I'm Paul Ferrace, director of USS Cod Submarine Memorial, and this has been a dramatic reenactment of a true life event that occurred aboard the submarine Skipjack early in World War II. And yes, it involves this most ubiquitous and highly necessary material known as toilet paper. The submarine Skipjack, uh, before the war, before Pearl Harbor attack, had sent in uh, a list of uh, supplies to reorder with their subtender, USS Holland. And I believe it was July of 41. And they requested 150 rolls of toilet paper. Uh, the allotment of supplies, including food and spare parts, uh, did show up. However, there was no toilet paper. Uh, well, uh, they had to make do with existing stocks. But then Pearl Harbor attack occurred. And we lose the Philippines, and the Holland, the subtender Holland, has to uh, uh, leave, and and she's got to uh, uh, run out, and, and you know all of the spares. We lost six hundred torpedoes or more uh, when we lost, uh, had to abandon Cavite, uh, and in all that confusion, uh, the skipjack still didn't get her toilet paper. Well. Um, Commander Ko, who would later rise to great prominence in the submarine uh, battles, uh, took command of Skipjack, and uh, it uh, became apparent that there was uh, a lack of toilet paper aboard this S-Class, or Salmon Sargo. Uh, those were called the improved S-Class boats. Um, and he took it upon himself to write uh, a memo to uh, the supply officer saying, hey, where's our toilet paper? It's been uh, quite a while. And uh, the response came back, cannot identify the material. In fact, I happen to have uh, right here through the magic of the internet, um, the, uh, the, uh, the request and subject uh, from the commanding officer, USS Skipjack, to supply officer, Navy Yard, Mare Island. Uh, subject, toilet paper. Reference, USS Holland, uh, USS Skipjack, enclosure, copy of canceled invoice, sample of material requested. This vessel submitted a requisition for 150 rolls of toilet paper on July 30th, 1941 to USS Holland. The material was ordered by Holland from the supply officer, U.S. Navy Yard, and uh, delivery to the Skipjack. Uh, that was my uh, my admiral, uh, who was probably asking me to buy some toilet paper on the way home. Um, Mare Island, for delivery to USF Skipjack. Number two, Supply Officer Navy Yard, Mare Island, on November 26, 1941, canceled Mare Island invoice uh, with the stamped uh, notation, canceled, cannot identify. This canceled invoice was received by Skipjack on June 10th, 1942. Now, there's a war on but the mail can't be that slow. Uh, during the 11 and three quarter months elapsing from the time of the ordering of the toilet paper on the present date, the skipjack personnel, despite their best efforts to await delivery of subject material, have been unable to wait on numerous occasions. And in this situation is now quite ac uh, acute, especially during depth charge attack by the backstabbers. Enclosed sample of the desired material, uh, the commanding officer, USS Skipjack, cannot help but wonder what is being used in Mare Island in place of this unidentifiable material, once well known to this command. Skipjack personnel during this period have become accustomed for the use, in the use of ersatz, uh, that is the vast amount of incoming non-essential paperwork, uh, so they're using the paperwork. Uh, hopefully it's two-ply paperwork, you know, the... Not the uh, uh, stiff, uh, rather scratchy paper that was in use. It is believed that this command that the stamp notation cannot identify uh, was possible error and that this is simply a case of shortage of strategic war material, the skipjack probably being low on the priority list. In order to cooperate in our war effort, a small local sacrifice, the skipjack desires no further action be taken until the end of the current war, uh, which has 
created a situation aptly described as war is hell. So let's just talk about that. I mean, it's uh, an important material. I know on COD, we, uh, we, we strive to make sure that our, uh, um, our boat is as accurate as possible. Uh, and I know um, we have uh, in our heads, we have an ample supply of, of, of TP. Now, um, back about 2001, thereabouts, I did uh, uh, purchase 140 rolls from a commercial supply house, and we stocked uh, the uh, the rolls uh, throughout the boat. And luckily for me, it happened to be that 140 rolls was about what these boats would uh, be stocked with before a war patrol. Um, and I can say that in the last 20 years, uh, since the toilet paper has been on display, it has patinaed to a lovely golden uh, uh, historic uh, hue. So, um, it's just one of our efforts to tell an important story uh, and make the boat that much more realistic. Um, so can you imagine in all of the uh, uh, material necessary being shipped out to the uh, Pacific Theater during the war? And we're including uh, bullets, uh, beans, uh, black oil. Toilet paper or TP was just as vital, and uh, I'm sure that the men of the Skipjack, uh, uh, heroic in, in a, being submariners by themselves, had to go that extra mile uh, of heroism and kind of limit the amount of TP. So um, that's our uh, interesting little offering this week. Uh, remember to hit the like button, the subscription, please subscribe, uh, and hit the notification bell so you can uh, uh, hear of uh, any future things. And remember, war is hell. Let's go. Let's go home. Hey guys, I still need some TP in here. Hello? Is anyone there?